Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Roulette. And today we're bringing you guys episode number 19. Alright, so first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on my video so far. We're already on the 20th episode, and I think this is going to be one of our longest series on our channel so far. So let's try to keep it up. Hopefully the next one will be our 30th episode very coming very shortly. So, anyways, I'm going to throw a comment on the screen right now before we start a couple games. But Grayson Walton gave me some more line suggestions for both my offense and my defense. So I decided just to switch it up for this whole team and we'll see how it plays. So, first line is looking like Joe Sakic, Ryan Getzlaff, and of course Jakob Voracek on the right wing. He's got some pretty crazy stats. I'm still looking forward to, for him to score a couple goals here and uh, we'll see how he plays in the next couple games. As well as the second line here, here is our, I guess, Canadian lineup, Claude Giroux, Matt Duchesne, and Jamie Benn. Our third lineup, we got, I guess, Phil Kessel is gone from that third line left wing spot, and now Zach Parise is in it. Uh, we got Brian Boyle as well in the, the third line, as well as Valtteri Filpula. And on our fourth line, we got Rick Nash, Ryan Kessler, and Chris Neal, the real deal. Uh, they got some Ottawa change team, so gives us a little bit of chemistry at least so going on to our defense here we got a couple new uh, I guess duos here Eric Carlson's now playing alongside with Petrangelo uh, Brent Seabrook's playing alongside with uh, Brian McDonough as well as Kevin Shattenkirk and Eric Johnson have made a little bit of a swap for this episode and we'll see how they play on the opposite defending side sorry I had to cut that out a little bit but Pecorini is also a net can't forget about him we need a big game from him so uh, we'll see what how he plays this episode Anyways, we're going to get into the first game here. Let's get a game going. Let's see how we do. Alright, game is just about to start. Let's see who he has on his lineup. He's got Pavelski, Martin St. Louis, and Jamie Bent on his first line. Not the most uh, threatening of lineups, but we'll get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and there he is. There it is. He scores a goal with Martin St. Louis from the point. I'm going to get that goal back. I've been playing a little bit too... I guess in the back seat, but we're gonna get back into this game one to nothing. No, another goal! Martin St. Louis with a second shot. I couldn't get that goal back. All right, it's two to nothing here. We gotta get a couple goals back. Yes, we gotta go back. Zach Parise tucks it in five hole. Making it 2-1. Alright, and that's the Valtteri Filpula line as well. Alright guys, so we're going into the second period now. And so far, we're playing a good game. 13 to 12 in shots, 7 minutes, time on attack to 2. I mean, he's not getting some bad scoring chances, so I gotta make sure I play a little bit better defensively. Yeah, there it is. He's looking for the cross creaser the whole time. And look at that, team of the year Jakob Voracek with a 97 shot. Scores us a goal right off the bat of the third period, and now it is two to two. Now we're really tied up. Oh, he gets a lucky poke on. Come on, that's that's bogus. Five hole, yes, Jamie Ben. That is the third goal, and we finally take the lead from him. Took a while, but it's now three to two, and I think that was Jamie Ben who scored. Pretty nice goal. Oh, here we go. Chris Neal. Get around him. Get around one defender, two defenders. Get around him. Get around him. Where is there anybody open? Yes, Chris Neal sets up Ryan Kessler. What a goal. That's what I'm talking about. Three or four to two now. There's only two minutes left in the third period. Oh, beautiful. All right, we'll give him that one. He's got a breakaway now or a penalty shot. Let's see what he does. Most of you already know the glitch goals here. Oh, he misses! That could have really brought him back into the game, but he misses the shot. We're still up by 4 or 2. Oh, he gets a goal back. Uh, 7 seconds left, but still 4 to 3. I'll give him that one. Is that Martin St. Louis? Jesus Christ, he's been getting a ton of points for him. Oh, we got one more shot on net. We'll see if that changes the outcome of the pull. But we don't continue our loss streak. We're going to raise that buy now minimum all the way to 1,000, which is great. And uh, we'll see how many shots we got. All right, so the Vaxtro Lakers defeats the San Jose Sharks. 22 shots to 20. Uh, we got 13 minutes timeout attack to 3, as well as a uh, pretty good passing percentage. 66%. Definitely not bad. Let's take a look at the three stars. And two of his guys got stars. Martin St. Louis with one goal, one assist. Pavelski with one goal, one assist. 
as well as Brent Seabrook with two assists. So anyways, we're going to go choose that player. I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys. So welcome back to the auction search page. And uh, we're going to basically just raise that buy now minimum to a thousand and choose the 22nd player because we get we did get 22 shots that game. So I'm going to keep it nice and short and let's choose the 22nd player. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Mike, Mikhail Garbowski is going to be the next pick of our team. I'm going to buy him out, see where he fits in. Okay, so we're back on the team page, guys. And as you can see here, uh, Chris Neal has been relieved of his duties. Mikhail Grabowski is taking over on the fourth line right wing spot. Now playing alongside with Rick Nash and Ryan Kessler. Pretty exciting lineup, but uh, we're going to keep this episode going. Let's get into the second game here. Let's see if we can win that one. Back in Toronto, guys. And as you guys can see here, we're facing against Cody Eakin. Uh, I don't know who's on his right wing and left wing, but a uh, bunch of no-namers. But we're going to keep this going. It's because it's Dano Chara. What the hell is this? I don't even know, but we're going to get this game going. Nicholas Backstrom. Make sure he doesn't score a goal. I'm not sure how exactly good this guy is, but we'll get this game going. In front, oh, that's got to be a goal. Jamie Ben. that was a slap from the hash marks, and uh, we make it one to nothing. I'm totally messing up all my comments here. I'm sorry about that, but uh, so far, it's one to nothing in the first period. Let's keep it up. Oh, we get another goal with Rick Nash. I've been trying to practice that move by qu uh, for quite a long time, but... All you have to do is swing that right stick down uh, to the left side and uh, just shoot the puck and usually it does go in, but it's two to nothing now. Let's keep it up. Oh, how'd that go in? I don't even know. Brian Boyle finds ways to score and now it's three to nothing already. Jesus, let's keep it up. Oh, Rick the Dick Nash, crossbar it in. I, I literally just had so much time right down the middle. I just wind it up, crossbar it in. Let's keep it up. Oh, there's another goal. Jamie Ben makes it five to nothing. We're gonna slow down the goals a bit. Uh, I didn't actually mean to score that one, but. Still, it went through. Oh no! He does break the streak, or at least uh, breaks the shutout, making it five to one. I thought I could catch back up with Carlson, but unfortunately, I'm just a little bit too slow. All right, guys. So that is going to be the end of this game, and we do end up with a score of five to one. Fortunately, we didn't pick up the shadow, which I wanted, but still, we played a pretty good game. So 25 to 16 in shots, 11 minutes, time of attack to 5. Our uh, gameplay in terms of time of attack has been really improved the past couple weeks, as well as our passing percentage, 63% to 58. And let's take a look at the three stars, and look at that. Rick Nash with two, Jamie Ben with two, and Brian Boyle with the goal as well. Fortunately, none of them have a hat trick, so I can't upgrade them to special cards at all. But still, we're going to go choose that player, the 25th player, Raise that buy now minimum to 2k. Alright guys, so as you can see there, the buy now minimum has been set to 2000 for a 2 game win streak. So now let's choose the 25th player because we got 25 shots that game. So let's see what we can get for our team. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Victor Hedman is going to be the next pickup on our team. Let's uh, buy him out and see where he fits in. So there we go, guys. That is pretty much just going to end off episode number 19 of Hot Roulette. Uh, as you can see here, our, uh, we moved out the fourth line right wing spot with Mikhail Grabowski with Tyler Sagan. Uh, Tyler Sagan was never removed from the team. It was just too many players on our team. Uh, but So we brought him back from the dead. And he's playing alongside with Rick Nash and Ryan Kessler. As well as Victor Hedman now playing on the third line left defenseman spot with Kevin Shattenkirk. I'm absolutely so tired and exhausted, guys. I can't even explain. But anyways, that is pretty much just going to end off this episode of Hot 
Roulette. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave it a like. It really does mean a lot. But anyways, that's just about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. We got Bozak, the Bozo, we got Everly, look at that, Brian Kessler, another 90 overall pickup, we already got Giroud as well, we got a sick pickup, we got uh, Ennis, we got Elliot, we got White, haven't picked him up yet, you know, like, yeah. uh,